All right, so a few hours ago, they randomly dropped this new Tokan Nail program, which wasn't even announced in game this time for some reason, but I guess it doesn't really matter either way. We will be going over everything that they talked about in this video. And on top of that, we also got the details for the upcoming Saiyan Day Majin Vegeta, along with the side unit, which is going to be a uh, Kid Goten and Kid Trunks. So first things first, let's pop over to the Dokkan Now program and see what Koto has to say. So I'm going to just uh, scroll through it because if I play it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a copyright strike. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing she talks about is why Saiyan Day is on March 18th. It's because, um, you know, 318 in Japanese sounds like Saiyan, so that's why March 18th is always Saiyan Day. And from there, we have a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history on both Global and JP, which is going to be versus Giant Ape Power. And she said something about the final boss being Super Saiyan for Gogeta. Let me see if I can find that here. Uh, yeah, seven phases in the new stage, and the final boss will be Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. From there, we have the announcement of a new story event, specifically for Global, which is the Inherited Fate Warriors A Century Later event. So this was kind of random, I'm not gonna lie, because this obviously was an event that came out on JP for the 7th anniversary recently. And I think a lot of us did not expect to see it until the 7th anniversary on Global. But for some reason, we're getting it now. I guess they maybe didn't want to make Global feel like they were being shafted if they introduced like an extra EZA on JP that we're not getting now. I don't really know. I don't really know. But either way, uh, we are getting this LR Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Uh, story event, so we will be able to farm them for Saiyan Day, and on top of that, they will also be getting their Extreme Z Awakening through the Extreme Z Area event during the celebration as well. So yeah, unexpected, definitely not something I would complain about. I'm fine with this, but it's just, uh, you know, didn't really see it coming. Okay, so that is the LR Goku slash Vegeta Jr. And from there, we also have a new stage of Super Battle Road, which is, uh, it should be Worthy Rivals. She doesn't specify in this video, but I'm pretty sure it's Worthy Rivals. That's a dropping as well for Saiyan Day. And from there, hold on, let me just full screen this again. And we also have some special missions. So in total, we're getting 33 Dragon Stones for all the Saiyan Day special missions and on top of that we'll be getting some other stones for other reasons which you'll see in a second so uh let me see oh is this for the first login as usual you can get 12 dragon stones on the 17th first day of the campaign okay so for the first login we're getting 12 dragon stones because it's three plus one plus eight right saiyan day 12 stones it would have been better if it was 318 stones but it's fine <laughs> totally fine so 12 stones for first login and uh let's see is this where they show us okay so this is where they show us the animations or not not all the animations but the active skill for the upcoming lr majin vegeta so i'm gonna turn up the volume hopefully it's not too loud and uh you guys enjoy i have seen this but i'm okay with watching this over and over and over again because it is that good so Enjoy, guys. Take care, my son. I know how to be rid of you now. For good. I'll keep you from coming back this time. I blow you to dust. Farewell, Bulma Trunks. Even you. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> okay, hopefully that didn't screw me. <laughs> we went through all that effort to uh, not, you know, play any of the audio, 
from the Doka now, except for that part. But I think Shoto speaking might have triggered the automatic copyright detectors or whatever. I don't really know. Should be fine though, hopefully. Um, but man, yo, as far as the animation goes, as far as the active skill goes, I mean, if this is not enough to get you hyped for Saiyan Day and hyped for this unit and just make you want to summon immediately, I mean, what is? What is? Like, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, unless you for some reason hate Vegeta, like, you just have this burning hatred for Vegeta, um, which I guess is, is okay. I mean, I don't get it, but aside from that, this animation is just like you you gotta summon you don't even have to know what he does you don't even have to know what he does like you, you just have to summon for this animation alone to have this in your collection at least that's how i feel that that that's how i feel um and i haven't seen the 12 key actually i haven't seen uh his entrance animation or anything like that all i know is i need this animation in my life in my collection and and that's that let me just turn on the music once again. There we go. Um, so yeah, moving on from there. Let me know in the comments, by the way, how would you rate this uh, animation that we just saw? This is this is just the uh, active skill, right? But it is glorious, absolutely glorious. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Okay, so after that, we talk about his details, which I'm not gonna spend too much time on because we will be talking about it in more detail or more specifically later on um oh these are the arts by the way let me just show you the the, the tur is right there with the trunks and then this is the ssr the Majima Vegeta. okay blah, blah blah and one more surprise this year oh yeah so toya toro toya toro uh drew this amazing Majima Vegeta art for the collaboration or for the celebration and uh, this will become a wallpaper in game, which we will receive for a login bonus. So that's also pretty freaking awesome. And uh, we also have, let's see, some more stones. So if we, yeah, retweet or share this video 31,800 times, we will get 10 dragon stones. And on top of that, we're also getting five more stones just for a Dokkan now special bonus so basically 15 free stones right there and that does it for the dokkan now okay so nothing else to talk about thank you shoto i keep calling her shoto that's for my hero uh koto thank you koto for the information as always and now let's jump over to the uh details for the vegeta and also the kid super saiyan goten and trunks but actually, I'm going to jump over to the JP version. Uh, wait one sec. Hold on, I got my tabs all mixed up. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, these are the animations. <laughs> these are the animations, which we can see in full detail, or uh, just in, in full, on the JP Twitter page. For some reason, they didn't post it on the global one. I don't really know. Global shaft, I guess. But it's okay. Here we go. Enjoy, guys. Oh, there's no there's no sound is there okay my bad <laughs> my bad my bad okay uh we'll turn the sound up a bit go back and enjoy Trunks.
様の片付け方が分かるやっとな貴様を倒すには二度と修復できないよう粉々に吹っ飛ばすことださらばだブルマントランクスそしてカカロット Yeah, this is a must summon for me, man. <laughs> this is a must summon for me, no question. Um, Goten and Trunks look good. Nothing, you know, crazy about their animations, but they're clean, very clean. Uh, the entrance animation was pretty much exactly what I expected from Majin Vegeta. Very touching moment, if you will. And、uh, then the regular super attack from Majin Vegeta, it looks good. It looks very good. But it's not like. It didn't blow me away. I'll be honest. Like, it, it looks great. I have no complaints about it. But it's not like, oh my god, I can't believe what I just saw. But that is how I felt about the active skill. The active skill animation is by far, as it should be, the best animation for this Majin Vegeta. And it is. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so we're gonna finish this up one time. I'll、uh, let this play out for a final time. And then we will finally get to the details for both these units. I apologize for taking so long to get there, but there was a lot of information to get through. And also, just,、uh, I don't know, man, I just need to build up. I need to build up the hype a little bit. So, yeah, we took our time. It's finally time. For the animations, oh, sorry,、uh, the、uh, details. Finding time for the details now. So, oh, oh, only complaint I have is it doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a,、uh, <coughs> sorry guys,、uh, there doesn't seem to be a KO screen for the Majin Vegeta, which is slightly disappointing if I'm being completely honest, but I guess it's, I guess it's fine. Okay, so starting here with the Majin Vegeta. And let me just turn the music back on. Okay, yeah, starting with the Majin Vegeta, it is an extreme int unit.、Uh, brief paternal moment, Majin Vegeta. His leader skill is、uh, Majin Buu Saga or Vegeta's family. Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Gifted Warriors category. So here, There you go. I mean, as expected, the first 200% leader skill on global. For the Seide unit, they had to do it because, I mean, JP has been getting 200% leader skills for, you know, since the anniversary, and they couldn't really stop doing that, right? So, yeah, 200% leaders now officially on global before the anniversary, which is completely fine.、Um, let's see,、uh, passive. Vegeta's resolve. Let me just actually make this bigger for you guys because I'm sure you can't really see that properly. Okay, so this is the leader skill. There you go, Majin Buu Saga or Vegeta's family. And then passive is Vegeta's resolve. Activates the entrance animation once only and reduces damage received by 30% for the rest of the battle when there is an ally whose name includes Trunks on the team at start of character's attacking turn. So if you have a Trunks, any kind of Trunks, doesn't have to be a kid Trunks, it could be In、trunks, future trunks, whatever, right?、Um, you get 30% damage reduction, and also you get the entrance animation.、Uh, attack and defense plus 100. You know what would be really funny? <laughs> It'd be really funny if they change up the trunks in the entrance animation every time, depending on which trunks you have. Like, imagine、um, like a future, like adult trunks <laughs> being like smacked in the back of the head by, by Vegeta instead of the kid trunks. That'd be really funny. It wouldn't make sense. But I would have been okay with that.、Um, so, yeah, that is the trunks part. Attack and defense plus 180%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional defense plus 50%, uh, with three or more key spheres obtained, and then、uh, reduces damage received by 20% with six or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 88%, and randomly changes key spheres. Of a certain type, int excluded, two int key spheres when HP is 88% or less. Okay, so overall, just taking the details here,、um, if you have a trunks on your team 
and you have an orb changer or you're below 88% HP which would make him an orb changer then you're pretty much going to be getting 50% damage reduction like a lot of times like six key spheres is not super easy to get but it's not hard to get if you have an orb changer this guy can be an orb changer right and uh, on top of that you're getting a ton of defense like a lot of defense and a lot of attack I mean his attack might be maybe not as impressive as his defense uh, it's hard to say actually because he's getting a big attack boost the 180% plus the 50% plus the 88% additional that's huge um yeah I think he's gonna hit really hard actually I take that back I think he's gonna hit really really hard and he's gonna be getting some insane defense um, especially when you take into consideration the damage reduction I mean 50% damage reduction is no joke 50% damage reduction is huge so he's gonna age really well I think um, defensively and offensively he's gonna be no slouch so he's amazing <laughs> he's he's pretty busted <laughs> he's pretty busted and of course we didn't get to the other details yet so let me just move on to his links which are Super Saiyan uh, same warrior race, royal lineage, same pride, orbit of flash, supreme power, and fierce battle. And we have more details here. Uh, let's see, active skill, final explosion can be activated after the character receives an attack six or more times in battle, once only. Don't love that, but it's not terrible. Six or more times um, on harder events, maybe like three appearances. Okay, yeah, that's not great you got to take some hits and then you know next turn and then take some more hits and then another turn and then by the third appearance so by like turn five you can use it okay yeah i don't love that but it could be worse i guess it could have been like launches multiple super attacks like you know can be activated after you launch four super attacks which would have been worse so it's not the worst possible active skill condition but it could have been a lot better anyways um, it performs critical hits within the turn in which the active skill is activated, greatly raises attack temporarily, causes mega colossal damage to all enemies, and stuns them for one turn while sacrificing 18% HP. That is incredible. That is incredible. The only concern I have about it is the fact that it might be hard to actually use it in um, you know, Super Battle Road, where you need so many appearances, but... I mean, depending on how the attacks uh, turn out, you could, in theory, get it by the second appearance, maybe, if you get really lucky, and there's a ton of attacks in one slot, and you put him there. It's possible, theoretically possible, to get it second appearance, but it's very unlikely. So, most likely, third appearance is what you're looking at, so turn 5, turn 6, at the earliest. Um... But, but the effect is great. <laughs> the effect is great. I mean, guaranteed stun, guaranteed crits that turn, uh, mega colossal damage, sacrificing 18% HP, but of course, he does get the additional attack boost below 88% uh, HP. So it might not be a terrible thing, but you would have to be careful about that if you're at low HP. Um, yeah, I mean, the animation is insane. The condition could be better, and... Uh, the effect is great but it's just like how often you're going to be able to get it on super battle road unless they make some events where it's easier to satisfy the conditions like for example you know with the uh, agl trunks i have i feel like he's really good when you transform him into, uh transform him into a super saiyan but right now we don't have the events in the game where like that is feasible a lot of times i mean when you do transform him he doesn't really get his full attack boost and then on events um, where you could really use his transformation, like Super Bad Road, it's really hard to get the transformation. So I feel like this guy's in a similar situation right now, but hopefully in the future we get more events where this is going to be more uh, useful or usable, right? Anyways, from there we have his categories, which are Majin Buu Saga, Vegeta's Family, Gifted Warriors, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saints, Worthy Rivals, Super Saiyan 2, and Corroded Body and Mind. And that would be, oh, last thing, his super attack effect, which is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy. So nothing crazy there, but still a nice uh, additional boost to attack and defense for one turn. 
Um, so this Vegeta is incredible, man. He is absolutely incredible. I have no complaints about his details. Um, the only complaint I have is really the active skill condition, but like I said, it could be worse. It's not the worst we've seen. Um, otherwise, he is going to be hitting super, super hard. Getting incredible defense. Um, he's going to be one of the better techs in the game with 50% damage reduction and all that defense. He's going to be taking like no damage. He's literally going to be taking no damage if you have a Trunks on the team. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I really, really like this card, man. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. we got to move on to the uh, Kid Goten and Kid Trunks now. So they're called Friends Joining a Serious Fight. Super Saiyan Trunks uh, Kid and Super Saiyan Goten Kid. Uh, leader skill is Gifted Warriors category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, passive attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional 50% defense and high chance of evading enemies attacks as the first attacker in a turn, uh, high chance of launching an additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%. With each attack performed up to 50%, plus an additional attack defense plus 10% up to 50%. With each attack evaded, including super attacks, key plus 2 plus an additional attack defense plus 50%. When there is an ally whose name includes Vegeta, Kid, Junior, etc. excluded on the team. And medium chance of performing a critical hit if that ally is attacking in the same turn. Okay, so that's a lot to take in, but all you really gotta know is these kids have get a lot of boosts like a ton of attack and defense um to start they get basically uh attack plus 150 defense plus 200 if they're the first attacker and then they also have the high chance to dodge at the first attacker and then as a second attacker they have that high chance of an additional super so you're more offensive as a second or third attacker and then you also get up to 50 percent additional attack and defense with five attacks performed and then 50% attack and defense with five attacks abated and then additional key plus two attack and defense plus 50% if you have a Vegeta on the team and medium chance to perform a crit, 30% chance to crit if that ally or that Vegeta is on the same turn. Um, just a lot of stuff going on here but they are a very strong side unit, non do offense unit for sure. Uh, Lynx, Innocence, Super Saiyan, Prodigies, Budding Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Categories are Gifted Warriors, Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Joint Forces, Youth, Super Saiyans, and Bond of Friendship. And of course, they will be getting the 200% boost from Vegeta's Leader Skill because they are in Gifted Warriors as well. So, there you have it. And uh, we also have their Super Attack Effect, which is... Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy. And I think that is pretty much it. That is all you gotta know about the uh, Maja Majida as well as the Kid Goten and Trunks. And I mean, there's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to say. Bunch of stuff coming for Saiyan Day. Um. I'm going to be going pretty deep for both these units. You guys can bet on that. Hopefully it doesn't take too much because my luck recently has been pretty good actually. So I'm scared that when it comes to a unit that I really, really, really want, it's going to screw me, which could happen. Hopefully not. We'll see. But uh, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this stuff from the Doka Now details, like the events we're getting, like the fact we're getting... LR Kid Goku and uh, or uh, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. way earlier than expected to you know the new Infinite Dragon Ball History event, the animations, the details, um, and everything about the Majin Vegeta and the Kid Goten and Trunks. Um, I want to hear all your opinions, so feel free to leave those in the comments. And I guess that's all there is to say, man. I'm hyped for Saiyan Day. Look forward to a bunch of streams. Look forward to a bunch of videos. I probably, for the first time in a while, will be streaming the summons for Majin Majita as soon as his banner drops, which should be in about two days from now. So um, definitely tune in for that if you can. But uh, yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. One sec. 
there we go. Like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, have an awesome, awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.